Anyway, uh, um, I was going to talk about uh, the Apple education thing briefly because I had some responses. Well, I think people, number one, first misunderstood my context, which was if I had, if, in other words, if the choice was only between the current procurement system and the price of books and Apple, no other alternatives. That was the context. In other words, it's an absolutism, right? If it's X or if it's Y, I chose Y, which I would rather have the Apple solution versus what it is today, is what my point was. If those are the only two choices. Obviously, that wasn't. I was trying to get at later uh, that Apple would never seize control. It would, it, would, it would inspire others to compete along with it. In essence, what we did see today is really kind of, I, 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 I tweeted, I had mixed feelings. One, it's great. Some of the things they're doing, it's not, it's not particularly new, uh, but it's nice that what, what they're trying to do the only thing that I'm interested in, essentially, though, from what I saw, is the authoring tool. Because the platform is so ubiquitous and has so much weight, that will this authoring tool, which is free, that will now allow maybe teachers and other groups and sub-publishers to publish, to compete for material on the iPad, which is then the, let's say, quote-unquote, institutional uh, uh, product in the schools, if the government deems it so. Then, are we going to have a DRM war between big publishers and the little guys who want to... I guarantee you, initially, we will have a DRM war. The DRM war would be between the traditional publishers, Apple's <laughs> system, Google's system, and Amazon's system. Those would be the four giants in the room to start with. I think, there's going to be, yeah, I see, I think that I, we clearly see that Apple's not going to have enough Clearly, other people can enter. Amazon can easily enter this market if they so choose. They're probably going to watch and see what happens. But uh, I think that we need to separate what Apple can do for the market and what the government does. Because the government's really the problem with it. And I'm trying to, to have markets use their force and weight by consumer demand to, to then sway votes and then change policy within government, because it doesn't matter. If the government decides to say we're using uh, Red Hat Linux, and that's it, and, and nothing else is authorized, that's no fun either. Well, no, I, I, I know what you're getting at, and to a point, that is what the government does now, as evident by the fact that the biggest user of IE6 <laughs> is... Wait for it, people! <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it, however, I, I would prefer to take it one more. You know, it, it, it don't just fix part way, fix full way, you know. Yeah, it, so yeah everything has to be incrementally. There's no way that policies can change over uh, Okay, well then let's do it incremental towards a platform that's more, starting that's with a like platform the, that's more yeah. agnostic. That's what I'm saying. There's no platform. Amazon won't do it. Apple won't do it. Microsoft won't do it. Not even Linux. I mean, look at how Linux fragments do it. They have exclusive services to make money as well. If we're going to have money to be made, people are going to make exclusivity, period. Now, the thing of it is, is that let's make options for schools. Maybe some schools will say, I want to go with Amazon. Maybe some schools say, I want to go with Apple. Some schools will go with Red Hat. Whatever. Well, the point of it is, is I'm trying to actually garner that alternative of, wow, we have all these choices versus the juggernaut we have now. Yeah, but I, I kind of see it as trading one juggernaut for another juggernaut. Uh, that's not one juggernaut. There's multiples here. Uh. No no one, if it's, let's say, Linux, you know, whatever, what, like a one laptop for child movement happens in the books for the Linux movement side of things. Microsoft has their side of things. Amazon has their side of things. Apple. And they're all now competing, which now drives prices, and they're trying to use their own offering tools and say, well, you know what, we have this better than this, and whatever, and then, then it's like this back and forth, which is tr traditional competition. I don't see that as a juggernaut if all of them compete. Uh, you know, I, I would I would never call, and you pointed this out uh, in the what we're rebuttaling to, I want to say it's part 
two or it, 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 I think I, I, it, it, anyways it's one of, it's a video that was published last week I want to say it was Apple versus uh, education or something something like that uh, but um, we I, I want to be careful here for the reasons you pointed out and you're kind of going into now we don't really have competition in this area we have state sponsored agalopoly yeah, which is absolutely. a very different thing you know that's <laughs> That's exactly, and that's exactly what I'm trying to target. And you know what? There was a great article, although I, I'm, I'm pretty consistently at odds with uh, uh, John Gruber, but he has very, you know, sometimes he hits it on the nail. Um, God, there was this great, there was this great post by this uh, guy who uh, I found was tweeted to me after I had tweeted it. And uh, where is it? Let's see, where is that? Ah, let's see. This comes from this guy. Uh, this is all in the blog of Derek Bible, but uh, it's from Peter Kafka. Okay, and, it, and this is before it was announced. All right, it says the the key thing to watch um, at the Guggenheim is whether Q brings up reps from the big textbook publishers like Pearson and McGraw Hill. Or whether the focus is on letting educators and others build their own books so they can bypass both the publishers and the antiquated textbook procurement system. I mean, that is right there. That latter that part that is, is dead on exactly what I meant. And not only is that beyond that, which I, I know... Well, okay, but the other thing there is what I was getting at last time. Where it really needs to go to, and you were getting there in part two, is because uh, this is the problem we have to make with textbooks right now. Okay, I want to teach, uh, say, I want to teach physics 101. Okay, okay the, the following. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Uh, can you break up the soap of Pippa thing into one show and then. I already changed the title and stuff. We're, oh, okay, cool. we're, we're in a second EP. Uh, the, uh, however, the, I realized for most of the soap one, I had the wrong title up, so, oh well. But it's right at the end, I promise. <laughs> but um, no, for most of the... But basically, the, what you always wind up into is you wind up having to pick a bad textbook because the chapter of it that you're focusing on is the better chapter and what you what teachers really want in districts if they understand education and so but what teachers the people who are actually teaching material really want is like no I want to take chapter one from this book I want to take chapter seven from this book and chapter yeah. 13 from this book and, and basically yeah, the, you're on, exactly you're hitting on something I tweeted before we need to make textbooks modular we shouldn't even think of things as textbooks. We should think of things as just like uh, packets of information, modules of information that are only necessary for the course at that time. Yeah. And, 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 I don't know. When I went to university, sometimes we wouldn't even use a huge portions of the book that I just paid $300 for. Oh yeah, I, I know. Well, and, and like, that's what you're getting at. Okay, if we're only going to cover three chapters in this 50 chapter book, can't I just buy those three okay. chapters? <laughs> Thing. Exactly. That's all I'm asking. And that would also make, even though we insist on calling this cheating, it isn't. Uh, acquiring the um, solutions or tutor guide to go with, like if you're doing chapter two and chapter two solutions, and that would make that much more cost effective too, as opposed to having to buy four books. To really cover one chapter, for yeah, the, yeah. you could spend. Yeah, yeah, so right. Yeah, because I need two chapters from this book that cost three hundred dollars. I only need six chapters from this book that cost six hundred dollars, and I just need this one chapter from this book that cost eighty bucks. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, hopefully it'll eventually go there. I really do. That's that's exactly before. Well, we in, in a way, in yeah. certain industries, it already has gone there. I mean, think about the tech industry for a moment. Because of the rate at which... It's private, yes. If it's private... Yeah, because of the rate at which things change in the tech industry, why there are still the physical books, what more and more 
tutoring things in the tech industry, rather they're free or paid, have switched to a web portal constantly updating, constantly revising. Uh, uh, and uh, I mean, they, they've kind of shown the model that works. And you, it, there's no reason you can't apply that to all topics. We just traditionally don't. So. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, that was my rebuttal. So we can move on to the next topic.